I mean, one of the biggest trends on the red carpet last night at the Emmys was Silver Sparkle. Uh, Silver Sparkle is a really easy way to make a dramatic impact with kind of a streamlined silhouette, but some people took it really, really far to the extreme where they won, wore a really interesting shape, but also had a crazy Silver Sparkle, and that's a really high fashion look. So I think Tracy Ellis Ross uh, wore something that, you know, was not conventionally worn on the red carpet. It was structured and not bodycon and had a lot going on. Um, and I think historically that would have gotten her put on the worst dress list. Uh, it kind of obscured her body. Um, I saw on Twitter that a lot of people were saying that, you know, she looked big because she was wearing it, uh, which, you know, it's funny because, you know, you, people don't wear dresses in order to look skinny like that shouldn't be the only reason that you wear a gown or decide on a gown um, but the dress did make her make her look like a superhero you know she looked like the movie star that she is um, and a forward-thinking progressive open-minded person um, and that's what the Chanel Ocator dress really communicated um, and you know when she moved the feather feathers moved and you know the sequins shown it was a dress made for action and a dress not made for standing still and sort of just like being there and that's the kind of person that she is I thought it was just a beautiful metaphor for who she is an actress and you know what she really believes in Usually you always see one or two people wearing jumpsuits or pants on the red carpet, and not that many did, which was sort of disappointing, but Evan Rachel Wood came out in this white custom Moschino uh, three-piece set, I think. It had a vest and the blazer over it and these really chic pants, and you know she wears them really well. She does not look like she's ever in a costume, and I think it's a really brave, but also you know satisfying thing to wear on the red carpet to set yourself apart from everyone else. <laughs> So Reese Witherspoon wore a Stella McCartney blazer dress, um, and it was it was short. Um, but in a petite person like her, uh, it can look really great. Um, but I do think that there's something strange about the fit because most of the time, uh, samples, especially that uh, celebrities borrow for the red carpet, are you know tailored for someone who is very 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 tall. So the dress was I think reworked for her, but you could tell something about the fit wasn't quite right, which in my personal opinion didn't make the look as strong as it could have been, um, but she did. She went on a limb and she wore something short, which was you know commendable in my book. Celebrities don't just put on a dress and head out the door. There's a lot of work involved into getting a celebrity red carpet ready, and oftentimes Spanx are involved. Uh, the trick with Spanx is to make sure that nothing's showing through. Uh, so any seams or lines or if the actual Spanx, especially now that those like naked type dresses or dresses with a lot of cutouts are so popular. And I guess Sarah Hyland's dress, um, the Spanx were peeking out of it, uh, which is something that you know we probably experience in a day-to-day -day life, but uh, VPL is still not considered to be a great look for the red carpet. One thing we saw everyone talking about on Twitter was Rachel Bloom's dress. Uh, she actually bought it herself. She went into a Gucci boutique, purchased the dress, and she confessed that, you know, this is something she's gonna resell later on The Real Real. If you've ever been to The Real Real, you know that it's a great place to buy secondhand designer clothes. Uh, but she was really candid about her experience. She said that she's not sample size. Um, many luxury brands don't wanna work with people who aren't sample size. And, you know, for her, she just knows that part of the package of going to an awards show is spending the money, um, whereas some celebrities might get it for free. Others who aren't a size two or a four have a harder time. Um, she shed light on that, that practice, which does feel really unfair. <laughs> 